Hey, it's John the Net Guy, and this week on Wise Wednesday, it's a follow-up video to the Wise Watch 47mm review I did just two weeks ago. Today I'm going to show you the first five things you must know to get the most out of your new Wise Watch 47mm. If you haven't seen the first video, that's okay. There's a link in the iCard above if you want to watch it now, or you can wait till the end of this video and it'll be linked in the suggested videos for you. First up, tip 5 is one that got me initially when setting up my watch. Unplug the watch to set it up. Unplug it to show the QR code for setup. It just needs to be on the charger for a brief instant to turn the watch on initially, and then it can be immediately unplugged and set up. Number 4, enable your notifications selectively. The more notifications you enable, the more time the watch is going to have to wake up and communicate with the phone. Fortunately, the watch is incredibly power saving, so you'll still get days of use out of it even if it's buzzing constantly. Make sure you enable only the notifications that you want in the Wise app. Also, if you're not getting your text messages, I'd recommend disabling and enabling this notification type in the app to make sure that it's registered. Number 3. Enable background app refresh. It's one of the biggest complaints I've seen where the watch disconnects or isn't receiving app notifications. To resolve this quickly and easily, make sure that your app is set up to enable background app refresh or on Android that it's allowed to run in the background. This can be a real common problem, don't let it get you down. Another thing to look for if you're having trouble getting notifications is swipe up from the bottom to show the quick menu and look to see if there is a Bluetooth icon with an X, just like this one. That'll let you know if you're having a Bluetooth connection problem to your phone. And number two, don't misplace your charging cord ever. It's not micro USB, it's not mini USB, and it's not USB-C. There's no replacement that you're going to find without special ordering it. So make sure you keep your charging cord in a safe place. I would have almost preferred that they ship with a second just in case, or maybe even an adapter head for USB-C or micro USB. But either way, make sure you keep that safe. Now this is embarrassing. I went on a trip and I forgot my charging cord. If you hold down the button, you can go to shut down. So shut it down every night when you're not using it and you can extend your battery life significantly. It's lasted the whole trip just using it during the day. And finally, number one, accessorize that watch with some bling. You don't have to use the Wise factory watch bands. I have no doubt that they're very high quality like most Wise products and they're probably very reasonably priced. But if you want to save a few bucks and get a lot more options, Look for watch bands that are 22 millimeters. I've linked to some affordable ones in the video description. So here's another good reason why you might want to consider an aftermarket band. No matter what, if you're an Apple Watch, a Fitbit, or others, a lot of them will cause a contact dermatitis. An aftermarket band that breathes better may cure this. Installing an aftermarket band is super easy. Just take it out of the packaging. This is the 22 millimeter one that I'm gonna have linked in the description and it fits just like the existing Wise watch band. There's these little tiny pulls on the pins themselves. So you don't need any special tools. I've had watches before that you had to use tools, but you just reach down there and you pull to the left here on that little retaining clip and the watch band will come off. This is actually a whole lot easier than the Apple watch one. So I'm applauding them for that. You just push that out of the way and unclip and your wise watch is free to accept a new band and you can decide whichever direction you want this to line up just go ahead and clip it in and check to make sure it's snug you don't want it to fall off just like that and give a little tug you can open up the watch band here to give yourself some extra room to work and then do the same thing on the other side to adhere it same thing just clip it in push down and connect and now you've got a new watch band and you can accessorize with many different watch bands. I'll have a link to my Amazon store where I've picked out a few ones that I think look nice. And this would also work really well if you have a kid, if you're getting maybe the 44 millimeter. I don't know if the 47 and the 44 are gonna share the same band size, so look out for that. At least for the 47 millimeter, you can use the 22 millimeter watch bands. This has been John, the net guy. And these have been some quick tips to get the most out of your Wise Watch. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in a future video.